most defining moment of your life, Erica? And it can be more than one, personal or professional. Uh, I think the passing of my father okay. uh, 10 years ago. He was uh, 57, I was 27, so wow. very mm. young age for mm. both of us. Okay. Um, I think that made mm. me very aware of time and not taking it for granted that you can do something tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, very aware of uh, setting your goals, uh, making a decision. Your goal could be to, you know, to have a better marriage or be a better person, whatever it is, to do it now rather than waiting for some mm -hmm. date down the road because you're not promised that. Um, and then with my daughter, uh, defining as far as really becoming aware of what's important and what's not. She was nine weeks premature, um, had a plan, you know, birth plan, all these things to have happen. And then I have this two pound, 14 ounce child who's in the NICU and life becomes very clear to you on what's a big deal and what's not. And at the end of the day, most things are not a big deal. In my research, you had said she was the size of like, a baby ball. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And she today sure. she's, she is, uh, she's, Three. She wears five T. Oh, she's awesome. a size ten shoe. <laughs> so she's sm it. yeah, she's huge. Um, my husband is six four. Oh, so apparently, go. yeah. But I mean, she was yeah. a preemie. Come on, that's yeah. just, that's remarkable. Even though I'm I'm a tall person. I'm five one. Okay. Not yeah. at all. Yeah, she'll be taller TV than me. Show, right? She'll be taller than me when she's seven. There's okay. no doubt. <laughs>